good morning students welcome to mobile application development lab in my previous video i have done with the uh, designing of the simple calculator program and today we will go for the implementation of the simple calculator that means we are going to make the those buttons what we have or the simple calculator to work and before that in the design part Previously, in my previous video, we were having some alignment issues with respect to these button 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I have corrected that. How means we uh, have just given this constraint to the activity area. So now it is working fine. And I have already shown that how to give the constraints for each and every button with respect to the particular screen or the activity area. So now we will go for the main activity dot Java file and we will be having this by default so now we are going to add listener for the buttons what we have in the design part so that we are going to make use of the listener that means we are we will add listener for these buttons listener means someone will be listening for the event to perform some action actually so to attach the listener we need ids of individual ui components so IDs we have done in the previous video only while designing. So for our reference in this video, I am repeating this again. For the edit text, I have given edit underscore text as the ID for this UI component. Then for the button 1, button 2 and all, I have given the ID as btn underscore 1, btn underscore 2 and for the equals btn underscore equals plus btn underscore plus. So like that I have given. So now we will create the variables of type button for all the buttons what we used. So come to the public class main activity that extends app compat activity. So enter within this. Just press enter. Since we make use of buttons that is uh, almost 19 buttons we have used. And those buttons I am giving the reference as a button. And if you get this in red red color you should not worry you, sh you need to import the class so just click on this show context options see i am repeating this again if you get any ui component uh, reference you are going to get with the button actually it is a class if you get that in a red color just cl right click on your mouse button or the bulb button you are going to get automatically here it is going to give us with the show context actions click on that it is asking for us to import class just import class if you observe in the import class see i have only this one and now i have imported the class that is button okay so by button and i need to give the variables i need to create the variables of type button fine so btn1 then i have btn2 you can make use of digit also there is nothing rule like that btn 3 btn 4 like this you are going to do for all so btn 5 btn 6 btn 7 btn 9 and I have btn 0 right you can continue your only but for my convenience I am just going to put the arithmetic operators what I have like add subtraction multiplication and division I am going to put in a next line and this is also for type button only so button btn add btn sub btn multiplication then btn division right then along with these buttons i have few more buttons which is of the type button only that is btn clear then btn equal btn dot right Yes, along with the buttons, I have one more text box that is for the edit text, right? If you look at here in the design, you can uh, get through that. So now, 
I am just going to make use of that. It is of type edited text. So edited text and I am giving the variable name as txt result. So done with this. Now enter to the onCreate method. This onCreate method uh, is going to call when the activity is going to be initialized or when the activity is starting. And to start the activity, what all the buttons I have or what all the uh, text box I have that needs to be get initialized, right? So for that reason, I'm just going to make use of a Java uh, reference variable that is what I have created here btn1 btn2 till here what all the buttons and the edit text box I have created here the variables for those that needs to be referred with the IDs that needs to be referred with the IDs what I have in the activity underscore mail dot xml file individually we have given the ID for this edit text as well as this buttons right for all the nine uh, how many 16 17 buttons what I have for all those we have given the IDs so that is what I am going to write now so the on create method first will start with the button 1 so button 1 that is equal to I am explicitly typecasting the button since it is of the button type button find it is not button underscore just give space button find find view by id and since all those button 1 button 2 are the resources which are stored in the r uh, that is a resource file and it is going to make use of r class okay so r actually it is a class which contains all the resources of the applications so i am going to give r dot id dot since for the button 1 we have make use of the id btn underscore 1 so just press enter okay and for this one we need to set on click listener method we need to call that method so we got the reference of the id that is for the button 1 now we have to attach the listener for this button 1 right so btn 1 dot set if you just give set on you are going to get your set on click listener of this this is a keyword okay so this is a keyword which represents this class that means we are doing the implementation of this on click listener in the same class so this means it is referring to the same class so that's why we are make use of this keyword java keyword okay so when you type this keyword you are going to get with the uh, red mark that is it is indicating that it is an error just give uh, this um, click on this uh, show context options and as of now you no need to do this thing later we will do and similar to this button 1, we need to give for all the buttons what I have. So, button 2, that is equal to, it is also for same type button. And find view by id of what? r dot id dot btn underscore 2. Right? Just put semicolon and set on click listener. So, button to dot set on click listener of what of this okay so similar to this one you need to do for all the 17 uh, buttons what I have um, so do that now I am just going to perform the copy paste operation and will change that later okay so copy paste so for uh, to uh, for the identification i am just going to give the single space for all just 
I am doing the copy paste operation only that much. So press enter, copy paste. Okay, now to check whether it is sufficient, I am just going to rename this. Okay, yes, button 2 is over. Now I need to have with button 3. So T H R W E, then change to 3 and here also you make it as 3 okay similar way button 4 it won't take much time you can also do it fast along with me button 4 okay similar way button 5 do it button 5 and this is a 6 6 here seven eight c now it is giving us with the red mark so let's finish up with this what it is happening what i have where i have given button oh button 8 we have not included so that's why it was giving red mark so i am including here the variable button 8 okay yes so here also you just give the same and here it is for button 9 give it as 9 yes we are almost finishing this and we have button 0 so here you give it as button 0 okay yes it is showing with the mark so let me identify what is the idea i have given for zero button and check here for the button zero i have given it as button 10 so better i am changing here only i am making this as btn underscore zero so that it will be easy if we give the one which is similar to the other also just give the refractor and your if you look at here the zero is included so button zero so now along with the buttons i have one more that is a edit text right so for this i have given a variable as txt result so just give the same thing here txt result it is a variable name i have given in the main activity dot java file so txt result that is equal to and this is of type edit text right so just give edit text find u by id whatever i have given in the xml file so r dot id dot edit underscore txt right and now I should not set this with the help of set on click listener of this. Why? Because I need to set this to the empty one. Because previously or before it needs to be empty. Right? If you just look at this design. See here. This text box. It is an empty one. It should be empty. On pressing of 1 or 2 or 3. Whatever the buttons I have that information or that data need to be append in the edit text so i am setting this as set text set text to what before it should be empty so just type two double quotes and terminate that okay so now we will go uh, to clear this uh, error 
yes here see if you look at the options cast parameter to android dot view dot view dot on click listener don't go for that since we need to if we if we give this one we need to give for each and every object what i have the keyword that is this for uh, each and every variable so instead of that give main main activity make main activity implement this one so this is going to in turn uh, give us with the on click method so just click ok ok so this deletes us with the error and it is going to implement view dot on click listener along with that we will get with the on click method ok i hope no doubts till here and this on click method in this method on click method we are going to define the action for the individual method on pressing of button 1 what it needs to perform it needs to append the text that is 1 right in the uh, empty box what we have so for that one we are uh, we are going to make use of this on click method so on click method uh, in this method we are going to define the action for the individual method and here view view it is a class and small letter v i have no this is the variable of the view class if we click any button this view what i have here will act as a button what we clicked so generally whatever we click in the ui that ui component or ui design what i have that reference will be passed to this arguments so this is what um, we are going to have in the on click method okay so now we will start in this enter in the on click method if the object or we can say if the variable b if the variable b if that is equal to if that is equals to btn1 btn1 it is a variable name we have given in the java file right so if this b variable if that is equals to btn1 it should append in the text result box what it needs to append the string that is 1 ok so similar way if this v variable is equals to equals to btn2 now it needs to append in the text result that is in the empty box it is going to append the string append the string to okay so similar way i need to do for all the buttons okay so just i'm going to perform similar way what i have done before i'm going to perform with copy and paste okay so it is easy for me to edit it later so one two is over and i'm going to give three and change this to three i hope all are understanding what i'm doing here so button four then button five and your change to if you have done with the copy and paste be careful what you are changing okay don't miss anywhere btn6 sorry btn7 and here it is 7 btn8 and here it is Eight, nine. Here it is nine, and btn zero. So just make a change for zero. So now the digit part from zero to nine it is over. Now I have four more buttons, right? That is plus other uh, uh, arithmetic operators. So if same thing i'm just going to perform with the copy and operation only copy and paste this is for plus minus multiplication division 
then I have uh, button dot then button clear okay so we will start with this one so after button 0 I may have with the button dot so on pressing of this dot button it needs to display with the dot right then plus right so btn i think i have given like button add so it should append plus symbol for the button sub it needs to append minus similar way for button multiplication it needs to append multiplication symbol and for the button division it needs to open division symbol right along with that uh, along with this buttons we have button clear right and as well as button equals so on pressing of this button clear what it needs to happen it this text result needs to set the text to the empty right once i press with the clear button everything whatever the previous data it contains that needs to be erased and that needs to be set with the empty right so i'm just make it as a set text of empty right and now on pressing of equal symbol on pressing of equals symbol what it needs to perform so if the variable v dot equals of btn equal btn equal it needs to display with the result either it can give with the addition subtraction multiplication division so all the arithmetic four operators what i have i either it can be uh, any of one perform one operation needs to be performed right so it depends on the data what we have entered so if this v dot equals button equal if i press this button equal it needs to perform any of the four operations so i am just including this with the try and catch why because other than this four operators symbol if any special symbol i have that needs to handle the exception right so that is the reason I am surrounding this with the try and catch black block. So, I am creating a variable that is data. It needs to store whatever the data I am going to enter in the text box. Right? And it is of the type string. So, string data is equal to, so where from where it needs to retrieve? from this box right so whatever i am going to press 1 2 3 for example if i press 1 plus 2 that needs to be displayed in the in this box in the empty box right so from this text box only it is going to retrieve to perform the operations whether it is the addition subtraction multiplication division any operation it needs to retrieve the data from this empty text box right so once i have entered the data it will be appended here and from there it needs to retrieve the data so that is the reason i am going to make use of txt result from here it needs to get the text so get text and that needs to convert it to string so to string see whatever we are going to enter the data that will be in the form of string so that is going to store in the data variable so on mouse over on this you are going to get it is going to return a string representation of the object so get this get text what it will return it will return the text what whatever we have entered in the box that is the edit text box right it, it is going to return us with the editable text so that is what here i have mentioned in this line so whatever the data you are going to enter in the edit text that is going to be stored in the data 
variable now if that if that data contains if that data contains division symbol yes if the data contains division symbol it is going to perform with the division operations so i am just calling this method divide data later we will do the code for that we will write the code for that so just it is going to perform the division operations division operation sorry else if the data whatever we have entered like 1 plus 2 or 1 divided by 2 if the data contains a character or a special character that is multiplication so it needs to perform the multiplication right operation so it is going to call the method that is multiplication for what for the data what we have in the text else if if that data contains addition that is a plus symbol in the data it is going to perform addition operation so addition of data else if that data contains minus symbol if the data contains minus symbol it needs to perform with the subtraction so it is going to call the method subtraction for the data right yes if any of this is not entered along uh, among these four like uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division if any special character has been entered it needs to call the exception right so that means that exception needs to be added so cache of exception the variable is e it is displaying a message that is a invalid input or whatever the message you want you can give it here and I'm just making with the method this in display invalid message so later we will write the implementation part for this and what it is going to invalid operator or invalid input whatever the message you want you can give it here okay yes so now since it is showing with the red mark you can directly go for the show context options and it is asking for create method that is divide in main activity so yes obviously yes so you can go for this so divide and here also for all for all you can give it the show text show context options See, create method multiplication in main activity show context options create method addition create method subtraction and create this method display invalid message yes so now so later we will come to this one private that is a display invalid message now we will go for the operations what i want to perform here right so first we are going to have with the subtraction here so come to this one subtraction enter into this method and see before that one thing i wanted to tell you see i have to enter two operands and one operator 
for example 1 plus 2 or 1 into 2 and if I don't found this two upper ends and one upper one operator it cannot perform any of the arithmetic operation right so for that it needs to display a invalid input message and it needs to check that whether it is having one operator and two upper ends so since I'm going to make use of two upper ends it is an array so give string since it is an array of the upper ends so string upper ends that is equal to so whatever the data we got see look at here in the previous string data in the txt result that is in the empty text box uh, text box we have entered the data like 1 plus 2 for example i have taken this 1 plus 2 now this data needs to be splitted into operands as well as operator so i am going to give the data need to be split need to be split into split based on this minus symbol why because minus it is an operator and the other two what i have like one minus two the other two are the operands so with reference to this minus that is the operator it needs to split the data okay so once it has been split the data it needs to check that whether uh, uh, it, it is having two apparents so apparents dot length if it is equal to two then only it can able to perform the operation right and since it is of the string type as i explained before this is of a type string see look at here i have given whatever the text or whatever the data we have entered to the edited text or in the text box that is in the string format so obviously we know that we cannot add any two strings right so that's why i am going to parse that data to double so double since we have two apparents i'm going to make use of the variable apparent one apparent one double dot and passing that to double parse double of since i have two apparents in an array uh, it is going to store in the index of zero and one so apparent of zero that array contains the first um data that is the first variable i can say or the first digit fine so appearance of zero and the next is apparent sorry apparent two that contains the string right and I am doing the conversion here that is pass double of it is stored in the location apparent of 1 right why because this apparent is an array it is a string array we have okay fine and now since it has been converted into double you can make use of integer also why uh, standardly we have taken it as double means i can add up with the floating point numbers as well right so that is the reason we have taken here it as a double so the result it is also of the type double so double result is equal to apparent one since it is a subtraction apparent two fine so the result is going to be stored here and now i want to display the result where i want to display the result now in the text box whatever i have the empty text box right so txt result dot instead of one plus two on pressing of equals button the text box it is going to set the text to, to the set the text to, to the result right so i'm just going to give result and the thing is this result is in the double format and the result it needs to be converted or the value it needs to taken so 
value of this result fine value of this result and since this value is in the format of double we need to convert it to string so string dot value of result okay and if you are i hope you all understood now so yes and else if we don't have any like if i have just given it as 1 minus it is a invalid input right to perform any operation i need to have two operands or if i have given a minus 2 so for that we need to handle with the error message else it needs to display with the error message i'm just going to call this display invalid message what it needs to display invalid input okay so invalid input So now the same thing you are going to do for the addition also. You no need to change anything once you have typed with the one uh, for one function or for the yes for the one function what we have. So just copy from string just paste here and what all the things you need to change here the symbol you need to find out for the addition that is plus and here it needs to perform the addition operation so remaining everything is same right so similar way here also i'm just going to copy that and since it is a multiplication i'm changing that to multiplication symbol and here it needs to do the multiplication operation so similar way for the division also just division symbol and here also it needs to perform the division operation and this private void display invalid message what it needs to display we are going to make use of here instead of invalid operator since i'm making use of this as a general like invalid input i'm going to give this as a invalid input okay and this in turn is going to take up with the message so whatever the message we are going to give so that is going to be taken from the display invalid message so now I'm going to make use of this toast. Actually, this toast it is like a pop-up message or uh, uh, like a pop-up window. It is going to give us on the screen. So toast dot what is the text I need to display? And this needs to be from the get base context, and it needs to display with the message what I have. So MSG. If you have given MES here, it needs to be MES only. So message, comma, and whatever the whole, the complete message I have till the length long, that needs to be displayed. So length long, it needs to show, right? So call the show method. So this completes our implementation part for the Java file. That is for the simple calculator. And here if you observe, I have two errors dangling meta character at the line number 129. Yes, here plus why it is showing. We will try to figure it out. Yes, here we have errors like uh, da dangling meta character error for the plus symbol as well as for the multiplication symbol if you observe here. Why? Because see it is giving us that it is matching with the regular expression. In the regular expression, this multiplication symbol as well as the addition symbol that is a plus symbol will be having a special meaning right so where multiplication symbol is going to be matched with all the characters and plus is going to be matched or it is going to be have with a special meaning in a regular expression 
so this dangling meta character it is nothing but string is trying to match by the regular expression meta character sequences for example as i told multiplication or plus and even the question mark symbol so here in this we need to escape the sequence of this one so for this one we are going to make use of make use of the pattern class and in that quote is a method so we need to make use of this so pattern quote so this in turns give us with the proper or it is going to escape the uh, characteristic of this multiplication and uh, plus symbol as a meta character okay so meta character or escape sequences in the input sequence or in the input data will be given no special meaning with the help of this pattern dot quote so similar way you are also you are going to do the same pattern dot quote this is going to take us with the normal simple okay so now shall we run this so just give a run if you have any doubts you can put a message in the comment section and for um, the previous you can go through my previous videos for the android installation with emulator or with the connection of the mobile device also still it is not at been initialized this is uh, what i have executed before so that is what it is showing in the screen still our gradle is running you need to wait for some time whichever the program you want in the android studio or in the mobile application development lab you can put a message in the comment section so that i will do the uh, video of that and i will upload it as early as possible subscribe to my channel and now we got the output it is launching the activity now i am going to perform 1 plus Yes, now I have run the application, and on clicking of only the digits I am getting, but not for the plus, minus, multiplication, or any others. Um, why? Because see, in the on create method, I have created the connection only for the zero uh, to nine buttons, but not for the others. So that is the reason I was not getting. So. this is the way we need to find out with the errors so i am going to make use of the button add so instead of this i am just going to copy and paste for even for add then for the subtraction multiplication division then for the clear dot right and on equals it is going to give us with the result all right so only for this much yes for the button dot it needs to append dot right so btn what i have given btn underscore dot then similar similar way you also 
see i am doing the changes in the on create method where i have established the connection between this java file buttons and the xml uh, ui components what i have based on the ids what i have given btn for the clear btn underscore clear okay it is case sensitive dot is over then clear is over then i want to go for the add plus then subtraction here I think I have given minus yes between multiplication yes and for the division yes now we have done for the remaining also right Yes, now one more for the equals. So, btn equals btn underscore equals Yes, we have given in the onCreate method for all the buttons from uh, one, uh, 0 to 9. Then for the 4 arithmetic operators that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And even for these buttons clear, equal, dot. And next for the text box that is txt result. So if you check here from 1, 2, 3, 4 five six seven eight nine then i have given zero then i have three more like dot clear and equals here so for our convenience i'm just going to cut this and we'll paste it here yes so plus minus multiplication division then for dot clear equals and for the edit text so now it needs to work fine so i am going to stop this and will re again i will run this meanwhile i am going to turn on the emulator and this was the previous one so leave this Yes, gradual invocation errors. Invocation, gradual invocation finished with zero errors. Yes, I am going to perform the addition operation first. So, 1 plus 2. So, this is what the data as I explained. And on pressing of equals button only, that needs to display with the result. So, that's why, see on click of button 1 it needs to open 1 and on click of button 2 if that 
uh, V uh, that is on click of uh, button 2 it needs to append with 2 right so similar way we have uh, on click we need to uh, append the buttons whatever we are having but on pressing of this equals button it needs to display with the result okay so string this data is going to take with the get text what we have entered here 1 plus 2 okay and that is going to be converted to to string and we have entered in the txt result that is the id or the variable name we have used for this box okay so meanwhile it has been turned off so just press equals see if on pressing of equals it is going to match with if this data contains division or multiplication or plus so if here whatever the data have entered 1 plus 2 since this contains plus symbol it is going to call the method addition along with the data the parameter we passed for the method addition is the data what we have entered 1 plus 2 right so in the addition it is going to split on based of this on basis of this plus symbol and it is going to split the one which is before the plus symbol and after the after the plus symbol as two operands so if that length is equal to two it is going to perform the operation right and now i'm clearing this and i'm going to multiply two in two point three into 2.4 equals so 5.52 it is giving us with the proper data why we are why means we have given in the double right so clear 1 divided by 2 press equal 0 0.5 okay then clear for the invalid input also i need to check right so i'm just going to give one division pressing equals so it needs to display invalid input similar way i'm going to give two apparents but with the different one like you can enter via keyboard also i'm going to enter a divided by two or just press equals see invalid input so similar way a plus 2 sorry a plus 2 equals again it is a invalid input and if this is what the implementation for the program 2 that is a simple calculator program hope you people don't have any doubts and if you have any doubts if you want any other videos of android programs you can put in the comment section so i will try to do that within a short period of time and if you have any queries you can mail me also that is the mail id we have given in the description of this video below you can found out and subscribe to my channel that is computer lab space and you will get the updates of this and make benefit out of it and thank you all